you see the videos in the video? I mean, you can see it, but you can't because of the thick smoke. It's crazy. <laughs> So this was a very last minute video idea. I wasn't planning on making anything since the wildfires from Washington State has made the air quality in Vancouver, BC so terrible. But this is Metro Vancouver's most secretive and exclusive park. McKetney Park in West Vancouver. To be honest with you, half the fun of going to McKetney Park is the drive there. McKetney Park is located in one of Canada's most expensive and exclusive neighborhoods. I would honestly be really curious on hearing some of the backstories to how people may not afford such expensive places. Anyways, let's go back to McKetney Park. It really is a neat hidden gem that's been totally forgotten by locals and tourists. And yes, you know what? This is a public park. Anyone can go here. We started at the main entrance on the north side of the park and right away we came across something really cool. If you go up these stone steps, you'll come across a bit of history. I did a bit of searching online and couldn't really find out what exactly this is, but my best guess is it's a World War II lookout. It sits at the highest point in the park and unfortunately the smoke from the wildfires blocked the view, but I suspect it's probably pretty good. We continued on, and this was actually my first time here too. There's a small bike course, but it's more for kids. Generally speaking, the trails are super easy and you probably wouldn't spend a lot of time here. But the forest was peaceful. We only seen one other person in the entire park. McKetney Park has some bomb tennis courts. <laughs> but seriously, if you play tennis, you're going to love these tennis courts. They're just so hidden. Oh. And there's a few pretty nice lookouts to check out too. There'd be some crazy views up here, that's for sure. Yeah, look. Too bad there's um, thick smoke coming from the smoke. Yeah, Again, the smoke from the wildfires blocked the view, but I found some pictures online of what it should have looked like here. It's so good. What do we make here anyways? Tell us about it. So I put pasta sauce on top of the pita bread because they sell pita bread in a big bag and you don't end up eating all of it, right? So I just <laughs> pick two pita bread and put pita, um, spaghetti or pasta sauce and then I put mozzarella and then I bought this pepperoni slices. Yep. This is slices. And Walmart, and then I put mozzarella, and then I put um, jalapeno pizza. I mean, jalapeno cheese on top. It's way better than frozen pizza. 